Hi guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Pink Sweets with a one instead of an I. I usually post close-ups of my makeup looks there so that you can see them closer up and in better lighting. Today's video is going to be about a brand that I absolutely love and support, and that is Trading Mecca. Hi, Trading Mecca. When I first ordered the stuff from their website, they had no clue that I was a YouTuber, and I decided to go ahead and order two products with my own money. This video is not sponsored, and I found that it was wonderful that even though they didn't know who I was, they sent a nice handwritten note with my package. And it says, Dear Anya, thank you for trusting in us and supporting us to make a difference. Feel free to share your looks with us. And then they gave me some hashtags, which is hashtag Meckies and hashtag Trading Mecca, which they encourage their supporters to share their looks with them because they want to make sure you love their products. And I thought that was a really nice touch. So the two products that I ordered from them were both palettes. One is this palette right here which is amazing it is the beta palette and it is an eyeshadow palette it does come with a mirror it is very sleek i love the outer packaging and it comes with a sleeve when you first order it but i've used this palette probably every day this week so there's the mirror and yes, I am in my Chihuahua onesie today because it's cold outside and there's nothing like getting glam while wearing a Chihuahua onesie, right? So here is the eyeshadow palette. I love the shades. I love that they actually came out with some shimmery hot pinks and magentas because most of the magentas and pinks that I see are actually matte instead of like metallic and shimmery. I also love that they have this light color right here, that they have some reds, some oranges, this pop of gold right here, and you also have some neutral shades, some browns, and then you have this wonderful deep black for smoky eyes, which I also love and appreciate, and it's matte. The second palette that I ordered was their highlighter palette, and that is, look at this holographic packaging. I love it. This is their Gl Glowing Goddess palette, and it comes with six highlighter shades. This one does not come with a mirror. Oh, and both palettes do come with the ingredients right on the back, so that's also nice, and they are cruelty-free. They have the little bunny there, so that's how you know. The shades in here, you come, you get two different shades of pink, which there is definitely a difference between the two, and I love them. And then you have this light champagne gold color. You have this greeny gold color. You have a bronzy gold. See how they... And then you have this champagne color here, which is deeper than this one up here. And I personally think that any skin tone could use any of these shades. I think that these shades would complement literally any skin tone. And I, they're very blinding. I have used them. And I will say... I've used the, both of these palettes for most of last week, and I got many compliments. So I, I'm definitely impressed with the brand already. So first things first, I look crazy because I decided to do my eyebrows first, and I did prime my eyelids as well with my concealer, which is the Makeup Revolution Concealer. And I used the It Cosmetics brow power, brow pencil. It, for me, it doesn't really matter what brow pencil I use because I'm not very good at doing my eyebrows, but it is one that I've used a few times. I don't know if I'd repurchase it because I don't see a difference between it and my um, e.l.f. Cosmetics one, I think, which I think was like $3, $2. So then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape, which I've already cut into it, two individual pieces, and then I put it on the back of my hand to get rid of the stickiness because you don't want to tug at your eye skin. And I'm just going to line it up with the tail of my eyebrow and then put on the other one. There we go. So the first palette we're going to go in with is the eyeshadow palette, which is this one, the beta palette. 
And the first brush I'm going to use is this Morphe brush. It came with a blue brush set. It, it, it is still available at morphebrushes.com. Um, it doesn't have a name or a number on it though. So none of the brushes in the brush kits as far as I know do. So first we're going to go in with this very light, the very lightest pinky salmon -y color shade. And we're just going to put that all in the crease. And I will get better about not blocking you guys with my mirror, my Jeffree Star mirror. So how are you guys doing this weekend? Here in Virginia, we had 80 degree weather yesterday, and today it is going to snow, according to the weather people. And that's just crazy. Now we're going in with this shade right here. We are supposed to get six inches, I think, which is just nuts. It is spring. I love snow. Don't get me wrong. I really do. But in April, I just, I just don't know. I mean, I guess I really love snow. Like, really. Like, unhealthy kind of love snow. And so I think I would take snow any time of the year, which most people tell me to hush my mouth about, but I just love it. So that is why I decided to stay indoors, wear my Chihuahua onesie, and do my makeup. Just for fun. All right. Now we're going to go into this beautiful magenta metallic color. And we are going to put that on with a flat shader brush. Again, this is from the same, and these brushes are clean. Some of them are stained, but this is from the same Morphe brush kit, the blue one. And again, it doesn't have a name, but it is a flat shader brush. So we're going to go into that magenta shade, which is so beautiful and metallic. And we're just going to put it all in our inner corner there and on our lid. I'm going to be posting quite a few videos in the next couple of days. I have a lot of ideas and I've gotten a lot of new makeup recently. So I definitely want to share that stuff with you guys. <clears throat> I have a few different collections that I want to that I want to share. So I'm just going to pat that all over the lid about halfway. And like I said on Instagram I do post close-up looks because I feel like sometimes it's more difficult to see in a video exactly what it'll look like in in normal lighting and daylight. You know, I do different lighting so that you can see what it's going to look like on you maybe in person. So then we're going to go in with this coppery shade, which I love because it almost has like a pink duochrome shift to it. Absolutely love it. And I'm going to put that on the other half of the lid and blend it in with the pink. I love these two shades together. And I'll tell you, I normally only like colorful eyeshadow looks. I mean, this is definitely colorful, but I am using some of the neutral shades, which I didn't know if I would, but they're so beautiful. And they're so unique. And I love the way these neutral shades go with the pops of color as well. So that's also a plus. They're very buttery, very creamy, very pigmented and very smooth. And most of the time when I use metallics or shimmer colors, I always use a glitter glue or 
I, well, I don't really wet my brush that often, but most of the time I put down a glitter glue. And I even have the Violet Voss glitter adhesive right here in front of me because I was thinking about using it. But these shades are so metallic, you really don't need a glitter adhesive to make them pop. So, so once I have made sure that the coppery shade and the magenta shade have blended into each other, see that? We're going to go in with the darkest shade in the palette, which is the black. And that's right here. And it is, I would say it's a matte black, but it does have some shimmer to it. But it's more like a satin, maybe. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe 433. And I'm going to put that on the outer V. And I know that a lot of people, when doing their eyeshadow, tend to be a little bit frightened about using darker colors only because they can mess up a look very quickly. But I think they can also really enhance a look and take it to the next level. So I tend to use a very dark shade on my outer V almost almost every time I think that I do my eyeshadow. Not always black, but Sometimes a dark blue, a dark green, something like that. And I do love that this eyeshadow palette does offer such a dark shade along with the other shades because some palettes, like the Modern Renaissance palette, the darkest shade in that palette is Cypress Umber, which is a brown. But I don't really feel like it's that dark. So it's kind of difficult to, you know, make it a darker smokier eyeshadow look with that palette you have to draw in another color from a, some somewhere else but and i that's one of my biggest pet peeves i don't like having to draw in other shades i mean i know sometimes you do because sometimes you say well i want a purple from this palette and i want a green from that palette and i want a blue from that palette but I appreciate a palette where I can just do a look with just that palette and I don't have to take in any other colors from any other shade or from any other palettes. And this palette has everything. Like you don't need another palette in order to create a beautiful look. So I absolutely love that. So I'm just blending that into the copper. I mean, it is so pigmented. Like I only went in with my brush into that black one time on either side. On one time on this side, one time that side. So I think it's amazing. And the palette, I mean, I would say it has maybe a little bit of kick up, but I have used this palette quite a bit this week. So, and if you look under my eyes, I have almost zero fallout. So, that's amazing as well. So we're going to take off the tape and we're going to look and see if we have any areas to clean up with a makeup wipe, which I have one right here. And I just like to make sure that everything is gone from my cheek. And then I'm just going to go and take anything that might be on my lower lash line only because I like to go back in and do my lower lash line alone, like separately. And I'm kind of using my nail, you know, to sweep away anything and make sure that it's a very sharp edge. And I do have two, I think, differently shaped eyes, so sometimes I feel like I can't get the, <laughs> the outer edges to be exactly the same, but All you can do is try, right? OK. 
Okay. And now that I'm satisfied with the way that it looks, I'm going to do my face makeup. So I've already moisturized my face and I use the Glam Glow Water Burst Lotion, the new one. I, I really like it. I like a lot of things from Glam Glow. I use their, you know, their cleanser. I use their masks. I use their lip balm. So, and then I did use, I got this new oil from Velvet 59 and it is a ch 24 karat chocolate facial oil. It smells amazing and it is amazing. And I use that as my moisturizer slash first primer, I guess. And then I'm going to go in with the Milk Blur Stick. I know some people have said they don't like this product. I, I don't know why. I love it. I feel like it really does blur my pores. And I just kind of put it in my T-zone only. And then I just kind of pat it in. We're going to be using, if you hear any noises in the background, my dogs are out there playing. So and we're going to be using our Sonia Kashuk marbled, I think it's so cool looking, beauty blender. And I'm going to do a different combination than usual. I'm going to do the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible Foundation. And I'm going to mix it with the Lancome Regenery Lift Foundation. The this one I've been using it for a while and I tend to mix it with other foundations when I do use it um, and I like it I like it it's it's a good long wearing foundation and I feel like the pro glow is so so glow <laughs> so and I, I like more of a matte foundation so I feel like the Lancome one is somewhere in between a matte and a satin finish and I like that it kind of cancels out some of the glow from the pro glow so I'm going to put it on the back of my hand mix it together with the tip of my PD blender and then I'm just going to dot it all over my face oh I had trouble sleeping last night I don't know why just couldn't get to sleep so I watched a movie instead I love horror movies. <laughs> I do. I love scary movies. And I watched the new Jigsaw movie. Um, or the new Saw movie, I guess, called Jigsaw. And I watched it on, I got it from Netflix. So it was actually pretty good. I thought it was going to be cheesy because, you know, they've made like 85 of them. But I actually thought it was one of the best in terms of the way that it was done so I wouldn't say that that series of movies is my favorite but I would say that you know it was pretty good I also the other day watched Leatherface Oy. not so good that was supposed to be the history behind how you know, Leatherface from Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre became Leatherface. Not the best movie in that chain of movies. It just it's really slow at parts and then weird at others. And then, uh, I don't know, and then it ended in such a strange way. So not my favorite movie. And what else have I seen recently? Um, oh, I saw the movie Jungle with Daniel Radcliffe, which was based on a true story about these guys that went on a tour in South America into a jungle. If you haven't seen it, it's actually pretty good. And like I said, it's based on a true story, which is scary, but it was good. I liked it. And... Oh, the Poughkeepsie tapes. Sorry about that. Um, the Poughkeepsie tapes. That was a really 
interesting movie. I'm now going with the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I have started using this instead of the Tarte Shape Tape. And I love it. And it's only $7. The Poughkeepsie Tapes was a mockumentary, so not real. But it basically was about a serial killer. And it it was good. It was gruesome <laughs> at parts, but it was good. I like psychological thrillers, too. And I like comedies. I mean, I, you know, I like a lot of different kinds of movies, but I love movies. You guys feel free to let me know in the comments below what you would be interested in seeing on this channel, like what kind of makeup looks, maybe what kind of series. I do have a lot of ideas, but of course I'm doing these videos for you guys, so I really care and want to know what you guys think and what you guys want to see on my channel. So I did say in my Get to Know Me that I am going to be doing some videos on chronic illnesses because I do have two of them. I have ankylosing spondylitis and I have psoriatic arthritis, which are both hereditary autoimmune conditions um, or genetic based autoimmune conditions. And I will be talking about those in separate videos. And I have a bunch of whole videos I want to do because I've gotten some new stuff lately, like I said, and I've just been testing out the products so that when I do the haul video, I can tell you that I got this and I've used it a few times at least. And I really like the way it works or I don't like the way it works. So now I'm going to go in with my setting powder and that is the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder, <laughs> the Born This Way. Ethereal setting powder. I don't like that this powder has this thing. I know that it's supposed to catch it and make sure that too much doesn't come out and all that stuff or whatever, but it's just annoying because I like to, you know, turn my powders upside down and shake it out and I feel like it gets in the way of that. So, so then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to press that under my eyes as I make that funny face which for some reason every time I do this or I do my mascara I'm like making a funny face this is the most finely milled powder I don't know if you can see it flying everywhere but but I do like it. I don't think I like it as much as the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder, which is crazy because the, the Maybelline Fit Me one I think is $5 and this one is like 30 So I do use a lot of drugstore products um, or affordable products, I should say. And then I do use some more expensive products. I like to mix it up. If it's good, I'll use it. Okay, I think that's about set. And then I'm going to go in with a larger powder brush. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to swipe away any excess. This is the MAC. 126 and this is the one from that fruity juicy whatever the heck collection that was mac is a brand i don't buy from very often anymore mainly because everything that they make is limited edition just about i mean of course they have some eyeshadows that are like part of their staple collection but most of it has really become limited edition and who wants to get hooked on something and absolutely positively love it and then not be able to ever purchase it again because it's limited edition, right? 
I don't, I just don't understand that. I don't understand having pretty much everything be limited edition. But they are a good brand, so. So we're going to go back into the Trading Mecca palette. And I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with this bright red right here. And I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm going in with the pencil brush side of that. I'm just going to coat the brush and then I'm going to sweep that along the lower lash line. It's like a pinkish red. I had a word in mind of what it reminds me of, like watermelon or strawberry maybe color. Usually I put down one eyeshadow, then I put my eyeliner, and then I blend out the eyeliner with a second eyeshadow. That's just the way I do it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still stuffed up from being sick last week, so if I sound it, that's why. So we're going to go in with the Physician's Formula, one of these Kajal liners that they have. Kind of strange looking. Oh, it's an eye enhancing cool Kajal eyeliner and it came with three of them. So this is the black one. I'm just going to run that in my waterline. Okay. Okay, that feels a little interesting in my waterline. Whew. I've never actually used that one before and it is a little intense. Okay, then we're going to go back in with the black from the Trading Mecca Beta Palette. And we're just going to put that on the outer half of the lower lash line and blend out that eyeliner a little bit. Remember how in the last video I told you guys that I had been on the hunt for the perfect mascara and I bought like 20 mascaras from the drugstore and I didn't like any of them and I wish that I would have just bought my better than sex mascara because from Too Faced because at that point I'd spent that money and or more. Well, I just ordered the better than sex mascara again because it really, in my opinion, like for my eyelashes, it's the best. So I'm going to go in with the Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara. I got this little sample from Sephora. And I'm going to use that because I have to use something until the other one comes in the mail. I ordered a few other things too. Well, it came in a set and I'm so excited because I've been wanting to try... The Too Faced Peach Powder. I know, I'm slow to the game when it comes to that. But I've been wanting to use it, but then it was sold out forever. But Sephora now has this set for $45, which is an amazing price because the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is about $24. The powder is 30 something dollars. And for $45, you get a full size of the mascara, a full size of the powder, a miniature uh, peach mattifying primer and a travel size of the peach setting spray. So I ordered it. And then I also got, there's a company on Sephora.com called Besame Cosmetics and they're kind of, they kind of like make like vintage looking makeup products. And I ordered the, they came out with a Snow White collection. So I ordered the compact with the blotting powder I think it is or like a finishing powder something like that so I'm really excited about that and I will show you guys those when I get them but I just thought that price on that peach stuff was really good and I don't know why you can get it in the set but you can't get it by itself so not sure
Okay. So that is the eyes done. Now we're going to do the face. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my favorite bronzer, which is the, it's from Makeup Revolution, and it is the Chocolate Bronze and Glow Duo. I think I used this last time too. And then you have the bronzer side and the highlight side. We're not going to use the highlight side because we're going to use our Trading Mecca palette, but we are going to use this bronzer side. And I'm going to use the Benefit Cosmetics. This is the limited edition brush that they had, I guess. We're just going to do the parameters of the face. This powder is a little bit, not chalky, but it does kick up a little bit of product. But I love it. I think it's a great tone for my face, I guess. So, and I'm going to do it where I would normally contour. I haven't decided if I'm going to add any contour. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Put a little bit under my chin. And I'm just... Like I said, just going, warming up my face a little bit so that it doesn't look so pasty. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm not going to contour today. Eventually we'll get a video where I do contour. The blush palette that I'm going to go in with, I'm really excited about, is this Juvia's Place palette. And it is the... Saharan Blush Volume 2. Looks like this. Beautiful artwork. I love it. I love all of their palettes. The only palette I don't own from them is the Saharan 2 eyeshadow palette. So I'm thinking about getting it because why not complete my collection? So I'm going to go in with this blush here. It's like a peachy pinky tone called Lena. I think it will definitely complement the eyeshadow look. And, whew, look at that. That is pigmented. I'm definitely knocking that off. And let me tell you, yesterday I did an eyeshadow look with this blush palette. Hmm. I actually like it better as an eyeshadow palette than a blush palette. And you, and I bought both, both of them, the darker one and the lighter one. And you guys know I really like a pigmented blush. So I put it on heavy first and then I blend it out, right? I'm actually going to use my bronzer brush to blend it out so that. And then I'm going to top that with Sola. Let's see, I have so much in my hands. That's the middle one on the top. And it's like a shimmery color. That's the one I used on my eyes. But I want to see if it looks good as a blush topper. It doesn't translate on the face as well as it does on the eyes in terms of um, the shimmeriness. And again, I'm just going to use that to... Okay, apparently I make funny faces doing anything <laughs> makeup related. <clears throat> okay. Then it's time for highlight. I'm so excited. We're going to go in with our Anastasia highlighter brush, the A23. And we're going to grab our Trading Mecca highlighter palette. And first I'm going to, sorry, I keep reaching for stuff. And I'm going to grab this Kopari Coconut Rose Toner Spray. I like it for so many things, but... One of the things I like it for is to kind of melt my makeup in with my skin so that it doesn't look as harsh. Kind of like a setting spray. And then I let it dry for just a few seconds. And then I go in with my highlighter and it makes it 
even more blinding, even more pigmented. And I'm going to go in, I think, oh my goodness, I don't know which one. I think I'm going to go in with a mixture of the two pinks to start out with. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh my goodness. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Then I'm going to top it with a little bit of this light champagne color called Crisp. That's what I've been doing. Because I'm going to put Crisp on my nose because I'm not going to put the pink on my nose. Look at that. Mm, I love it. A little bit here. Then I'm actually going to do one more thing. I'm going to go in with my very, very old MAC 242. And I'm going to take that shade Royalty, which is the middle pink one, and I'm just going to add it to the inner corner. Oh my gosh. Wow. That brightened it up really nicely. My goodness. I'm adding more. Oh my goodness. Okay, now this is a big deal. I am the type of person, I don't know why, but I always have an issue brightening up my inner corner. Always. I always have... I thought I always would, but this works for me. That is amazing. I don't know why, but most shades just get lost in my skin. And I, I, I just can't see the difference when I brighten up my inner corner. But this is amazing. Hopefully you'll be able to see it on my Instagram as well if you check that out. And um, see it closer up. So... Yeah, that is, mm, I love it. Okay, time for lips. I can't stand crusty foundation lips, so I'm going to make sure to take off any excess foundation that got on my lips. I did a lip scrub from Jeffree Star earlier. I did the um, Peach Popsicle that came out with the Family Collection. I love this. I love all of his lip scrubs. Who am I kidding? I love everything he puts out makeup wise because that's why I named my dog Jeffree Star. I'm going to spray a little bit more of this. I feel like some people just spray once. Um, I spray multiple times because I feel like it layers the setting spray and it also really helps it take away any cakiness from my foundation and powder. And then resets it. Okay. So for lips, I'm going to go in with my favorite lip liner called Sebastian by OCC Cosmetics. It's kind of like a grayish. But it's like a grayish nude. And it works with any lip color, pretty much. Well, maybe not red or hot pink, but... And I'm just going to learn my lips... Okay, then we're going to go in with the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Nude Potion Liquid Lipstick. I really enjoy, and this is going to look crazy for a minute, I really enjoy using a lip liner and then a liquid lipstick because, and then putting a gloss on top, and that's mainly because the gloss makes it look pretty and glossy for the first couple of hours, but then when it fades away, you have the liquid lipstick underneath, which lasts for longer. Jeffree Star and Ofra are probably my two favorite liquid lipstick formulations. Ah, 
and then I can't decide. I want to use either this YSL coconut something, coconut candy, this. I mean, the shade is like coconut candy or something like that. And it's like a, it's like a nude, but it gives you a lot of gloss to your lips. But I think what I'm going to go in with instead is my favorite duochrome lip gloss at the, like, these are amazing. I want to buy them in every shade. I'm going to buy them in every shade. This is the purpley pink shade. It doesn't do it justice on camera, but it is in the shade Gypsy Dreams. And I've never seen a lip gloss make more of a difference Look at that. And it hurts them. Oh my gosh. It's perfection. Like this lip gloss is literally like this on your lips. Like the highlighter. It's not anything. My lips are so dry. With the weather changing and being sick last week, my lips are dry. I've been trying to do lip masks and lip scrubs and lip balm and lip everything. So, all right, this is the final finished look. The eyes, loops. So, I will put, like I said, close ups on my Instagram, which again is at Pink Sweets with a one instead of an eye on my Instagram so that you can see what they look like in different lighting and closer up. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you subscribe and like my video. Comment down below. Let me know anything. Let me know how your day was. Let me know what you're doing today, what the weather's like where you are. Let me know what you want to see on this channel. Just let me know something. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching.